Now, let's look at the types of money. Number one is legal tender. A legal tender is a type of money that is established through an act of parliament. So any money that is established through the law of uh, a country, law made by, this by the legislatures of a country, such money is said to be what a legal tender. Number two, we have fiat money. Fiat money is the money in which the intrinsic worth, intrinsic worth of money is the value of the money as a commodity, is greater than its face value. The face value of money is the value as money. So if the value of money as a commodity is greater than its value as money, it is said to be a fiat money. An example of fiat money is paper money. Let's look at the other type of money, which is token money. Token money is that money in which its intrinsic worth, which is value as a commodity, is lesser than its value as money or face value. An example of that is coin money. So we have commodity money. Commodity money involves all goods and that are used to settle debts or to exchange for goods and services. Example of commodity money are gold, diamond, crude oil, calories, elephant trunk, and the like. We have near money. Near money refers to those documents that are used to exchange for goods and services. They are those documents that are recognized, they are legal, and they serve the same purpose as money. An example is check, money order stamps, cryptocurrencies. Treasury bills, debentures, the example of near money. So near money can also be called quasi money or representative money. So we have bank money. So bank money refers to money in the bank account of the people. So it can be classified into demand deposits and time deposits. So demand deposit refers to money in savings and current accounts of the people. White time deposits refers to money in the fixed deposit account of the people. So these are the types of money. Now let's look at an important aspect of money, which is value of money. Value of money is the quantity of goods and services that money can buy. Value of money refers to the purchasing power of money. So value of money is usually inversely related. Value of money is inversely related to price level of goods and services, which means if price of goods and services increases, value of money will fall. And if price of goods and services falls, value of money will rise. The next is the quantity theory of money. Quantity theory of, quantity theory of money states that money supply determines price level of goods and services in a country. So when there's an increase in money supply, the quantity of money will result towards an increase in price level of goods and services. So an increase in money supply will lead to increase in prices of goods and services. So the quantity theory of money, the formula, the quantity theory of money formula was derived from Irving Fisher's equation of exchange, which is MV equals pt so m refers to money supply in an economy v refers to velocity of money circulation in the country p refers to the price level of goods and services in a country t refers to the total transaction with money or the real gdp so our mv equals pt is the irving fisher's equation of exchange all right, we can make use this equation to determine the quantity theory of money formula. So if we make P the subject of formula, we divide both sides by T. So we are going to have our P equals, we are going to have our P equals MV divided by T. So which means MV divided by T is the quantity theory of money formula, which is money supply multiplied by velocity of money divided by total transaction with money or the real GDP. So this is the quantity theory of money formula, which was derived from Irving Fisher's equation of exchange. So the next subtopic 
is demand for money. Demand for money is the reasons people owe money rather than spending it. You all owe money. You keep money, all right, to meet one or two things. So the reason why you owe money rather than spending it is what we call demand for money. And it is influenced by either income of people or interest rates of money. Let's look at